Welcome back, guys, to Horizon Forbidden West. Well, last episode, after finding the origin of the transmission and signal spike, we dived into an underwater cave to hear the message in full and bring back its source to Silga and bring the quest to its end. We then started heading further south towards Poseidon's location, taking out the Still Sands North Rebel Outpost along the way. Oh my god, we're getting so close. Oh, this time I didn't initiate my own slide. I tried to. This is Las Vegas, eh? It's just like I imagined it. Gotta actually say, sure, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. It's more interesting now than it is now, <laughs> in my opinion. Gaia said this is where I'd find Poseidon, but the ruins out here are exposed to the elements. But a lot of them are buried in the sand. So maybe Poseidon is underground. That maybe. That's true. I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. Now, which famous structure will it be? <laughs> I wonder. I wouldn't be surprised if there was just an absolute ton of stuff just lying around for me to read. Well, I'd have to say that one, probably. Tell me one Elvis chapel has survived or something. Stupid flower. Can't get rid of the vines. Not yet anyway. Oh, not yet then. Well, I'm guessing this is a landmark that identifies a uh, a building, but I have no clue what. Thought I'd grab that, but I also thought I saw a person there, but no, really. That building's more alive than most. If you can describe buildings as alive. There was a block path, that was the flower, campfires being found. Looks like a Call of Duty map now. Hello. So nothing. Nothing. I think you saw nothing. It's a complaint log. It's hotel complaints. So I'm not usually the type to complain, but the laundry bot tore my dress and I'm desperate as this is my big night and I don't know what to do. Lobby bots kept referring me to an auto tailor on the other side of the strip, but they're closed. Can I please talk to a human staffer? How could an auto tailor be closed? I ordered bridal suite overlooking Mount Charleston, but we're seeing the Hoover Dam instead. We tried changing the hotel window settings ourselves. But it switches what? But it switches back to Hoover or downtown view every time. Could you change the system settings to the West Vegas panorama view as per our reservation? Not gonna look out the normal window then. Urgent. I repeatedly called about the hollow login and demand a swift answer as I have money on six props in the sports book. My interface was glitchy from twelve onwards, but servers down from twelve forty. Action was promised on monitor, but no reboots yet. Oh, there was definitely an Apex something. Apex roller back high. Apex canister burrow high as well. Question is, how much climbing do I want to be doing said, through said structures? It's quite a big area we have to canvas to look for a way through. 
And you'd think going up wouldn't help, but equally there's a lot of beams to move here. I'm pulling this from the wrong direction. Yes. <laughs> Always got to know the beam rules. Steal an absolute ton of stuff within this hotel, the bathroom. It's so interesting how making the med making the menu sideways discourages me from. Where am I going now? Pressing X repeatedly to do a thing. To like loot it all. It saddens me. Actually, why is that being pulled? <laughs> What did pulling either of these things accomplish? <laughs> Just a glint hawk on top of here? They're aware of me. I've been made. Yes, but what are they going to do with said knowledge, Aloy? I'm pretty sure we can easily get away and hide from them. All right, I'm going to check over there next. Oh, it's a drone. Another drone keeping watch on the biosphere. I should grab its data. But how am I going to get it down? Why did you not let me highlight the track? Always fun. Thank you, Mr. Creaky Block. Assuming I have to get on top of that tower. Is the most obvious location. It's too high. Gotta bring the drone down to grab its data. Maybe if I jump onto it? Up, up, up. Oh, I can't reach from there, can I? I mean, I guess I could glide to it. Why you no? There we go. It's gonna stop here, yeah. Going down. One more drone added to the list. You're mine. I'm so glad it doesn't just decide to just not propel itself and just fall. Aloy would not survive. Right. So that's that got. However, still not found a way in yet. Water's pouring out of that building. What Simon's doing? I better check it out. It would be a good guess. <laughs> I went the long way round all the buildings by the look of it. Tower of Tears. Question, do I want to go low or high? Camping here. Looks like there's something behind that tarp. Oh, I was out of... 
I was so close. Oh, to drowning, maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand. It's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora Spear Maiden appears. Yeah, okay. Um. Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. Someone's been through here. What's this? Uh, I. I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a lay person to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. Seems like an interesting but bunch. <laughs> What's with the guy in the corner, though, trying to make this like some kind of D&D campaign? What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, but, but with the proper spark. These magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. Forty odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. He took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true Delver, and a true showman, and I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. So these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. 
What happened to it? Over time, they die out. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below, as you'll see. If you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old gramps' footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy to... Right. Again. What happened? At the bottom, we beheld the treasure my gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, and games and coins and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's got to be good. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. It's like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, but not stirred, I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbott Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. But I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far, and the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. You guys don't seem like average delvers. We're not really delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks, and Abaddon, he, well... Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths, I'd say it's apt. After not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. Well, let's get to work on it then. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer Scout at a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. I guess I should hunt the, uh things first then come back here before I dive and drown <laughs> An elevator? Built by Moreland maybe. I wonder if it still works. I thought we were finally going to get away from this place. Well, good thing that Aloy showed up. We'll see. The longer their sojourn in the desert, the crustier the shard counter's mood became. Probably get a, a guest list of 50. <laughs> so we need 
least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no, for him, scrappers up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. <sighs> we were gonna move on, leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along uh, and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. Uh, I've heard that before. I could trade with him? I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. Oh, weaponry. <laughs> Adhesive warrior bow. I kind of like my own ones. Osram striker set. Hey, he sells stuff. It's not bad. Maybe he can sell like machine parts that are good for me. No, okay. Well, I've probably been picking up some monetary stuff at this point. The Apex rollback part was really only a sellable, sadly, that we got in the box not too long ago. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was... It was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. He bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes, that dream has to die. It's not really all that wrong, I guess. Supportive, but also trying to be... Not crossing a line. This dream of Moreland's is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have, we'll have special seating, uh, premium ale, the works. Uh, Moreland will do his his light spectacle thing. Uh, Stemmer will get their eyes a sparkling with his tails and. I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> it's a nice thought, anyway. Moreland mentioned you were showman. What? An ostrom can't be anything other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure, we are delvers too, but that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, putting on shows. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Uh, uh, Moreland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled. Tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Yeah, that. And you? Me? Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two, eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> do they? No, they don't. Only I had the smoothest baritone. So Moreland was down in this ancient city and- The three of us went down below. You? I can delve too. Right. And uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. And Moreland built that blasted thing. Nearly got himself drowned, twice. You want the finer details of his stupidity? You ask him. 
I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. Nice talk. Right then, Stemmer. Talk to us. The stout-hearted huntress approached. Her appearance is sudden as a spark of destiny. And the delve was at its direst. That's, uh, quite the introduction. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe a little internal rhyme instead. A maiden arose from the very sands that bore our woes. Nah, too trite. What is it with you and all the uh, words? That's what I do. The stalwart storyteller gazed upon the maiden with well-earned pride in his life's work. Stemmer Wordsmith, at your service. How did you end up following Moreland out here? Bright-eyed Moreland held his dreams aloft like a burning candle. And where that light went, the hearts of men were sure to follow. So you admire him? Admiration is but a gentle fire. It's the spark the delvers and tinkers and rogues alike are sure to warm to. Okay, guess that answers something. Your friend over there doesn't like me too much. The loud one. The old bee counter has the personality of a moss eaten rock. <laughs> but oh, what a wicked mind for money. And a memory as long as life, or even the smallest debt. Uh, by that, he means he owes me shards. 147, to be exact. But as sharp as he was in things pecuniary, he had a dull forgetfulness for how many times a certain wordsmith. Saved his hoary hide. 147. 147. What exactly does a wordsmith do? Uh, like a tinker at the forge. A wordsmith hammers out words to entrance all who hear them. The young, the old, and frequently the inebriated. I didn't take the Osram for storytellers. Well, uh, they say the only thing makes a cold brew go down easier is a tale of times gone by. But it's always best to hit the road before the keg runs dry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? Why is that? <laughs> oh, well, the Osram can get mighty agitated if they run out of drink or if they don't like your story. So you're saying being a wordsmith can be dangerous? Oh, yeah. Story goes the wrong way, Osiram will throw stuff at you. What, like fruit? Well, more like chairs or grenades. But the veteran wordsmith persevered through it all, hammer in hand, ready to give as good as he got. How do you think we got here all the way from the claim anyway, past those blasted machines? It wasn't by talking. He's a good finder too, then. Got to go see someone about an underwater city. And lo, the huntress went forth. He's got a fair bit of swagger about him, hasn't he? This goes up, right? <laughs> we'll find a way to get oh, the embers. Yes, I know we will. Optimism! It's great. Right up until the point you stumble into the machine's jaws. Pessimism. It may save your hide, but it'll never save your spirit. Once again, the shard counter found. The the it should board. be south of here. I'll stop talking, Stemmer. I'll leave them to argue then. I mean, at least they're not wanting for water.
How do I get to that? We're going down later. We'll get the parts first, then we'll commit to drowning. Ah, are you supposed to, like, launch yourself towards this one, then? Looks like you're supposed to reach that from up there. have moved on. Great. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. There. Tracks should lead me to the herd. Sorry, Mr. Lizard. Or Mrs. I don't know. Let's grab the screen shine as well. And head onwards. That's from my stash when I need it. I found the tracks. I've got to follow them, though. Yeah. Brains! Work with me here. 